Dear Tyler, looking back over the years, watching you wrestle with finding your place in society has been maddening, sad, hilarious, and inspiring. If only you had known a bit sooner about the life you could lead versus the life you thought you had to lead. But no regrets now, Tyler. You will one day not be afraid to kiss a boy you like in public. You'll stop pleading with God to help you through this phase in your life. And instead, you'll start praying more for the courage and strength to live your dreams. You'll find friends and people that will come into your life and love you harder than you ever thought you could be loved. You'll finally be able to work on the shame you feel. And maybe someday, not too far from now, you won't feel guilty for thinking the way you do and for seeing the world through your own authentic lens. You'll shake some of that conformity that you were raised in and you'll not only find your voice, but you'll use it in so many wonderful and important ways. Tyler, you'll finally find out that you, the weirdo with body dysmorphia, the master at compartmentalizing, the professional faker, you won't have to fake anymore. You won't have to file away anything deep in the back of your soul, and you'll begin to actually like what you see in the mirror. There's going to be those odd lows that come out of nowhere, but you're going to be so much stronger than you are now. And Tyler, you're gonna make it through them, and you're going to make it to see and feel <clears throat> such incredible highs. I love you, Tyler, and I want you to know that you do have purpose, and you do have a place in this massive world. And I know you needed to hear that. Just remember, Tyler, have so much fun.